are you, pal? I'm good, man. You are so – I mean, that baby driver, you know, first of all, I'll be honest. Uh, uh, I, I was thrown off a little bit because there are no babies actually driving in this film, John, you know? No, there aren't. And, I, you know, when I first started the, the movie, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a really fun movie about a prodigy infant <laughs> golf you know golf uh yes. prodigy and i'm like i'd love to see a little kid with like a 38 inch driver just teeing it high and letting it fly uh but i was by about the fourth or fifth page i realized oh oh oh, oh okay it's a different different thing oh my gosh um, no we're, we're we're super happy with it you know the reviews have been great and i heard what you said uh, uh on the segment before about it and and people i think are really excited to see it it's it's uh, it's not a sequel, and it's not a reboot, and it's not a, you know, it's just an original story uh, with some interesting folks in it told in a really cool way. The, it's, the whole, it's an action film kind of set to music, and uh, the action, as you well know, in it is, is very uh, intense, and there's, there's some funny parts to it and some really scary parts to it, too, but... You know, it's a, it's a real, uh, it's a real interesting, unique movie, and I think for some reason people are are uh, into into seeing something that they haven't seen before in some version or other. Yeah, you know? and, and I want to, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen it yet or doesn't know about it yet. Um, but you, you just bring up how the music—it's so important because you know when they they see the actor who's playing the baby driver, um, Ansel Elgort, and he's got earbuds in his ear. It's just he's constantly listening to music that sometimes actually matches up with the beat of the acting or the action that's on the screen, or it, it just enhances everything. And you mentioned how you read the script. How does that read? How did you... How did you know what would be such a well, crucial part of the? It's interesting, you know. It was I was I was kind of the first person to sign on to it. I, I've known Edgar for close to ten years now, and 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 uh, and he has uh, had the script kicking around for almost twenty. And uh, he he gave me a, a version of it, and then said, "But but I want to give it to you with these with these tracks included." And so he had, had a little attachment on the on the PDF file that was all these all these songs. And I was like, I didn't know half of them, but I was like, wait a minute, what's, what's this all about? And he's like, well, whenever you see a little thing in the script that says track whatever, play that track. <laughs> like, okay. Huh? And so you're reading a script, and then all of a sudden you click a thing, and then you're reading the description of a chase scene, and, and you know, Bell Bottoms is going on, or, or Brighton Rock, or any one of these, like, really cool versions of songs that you kind of think you've heard before, or samples that you've heard before. I mean, the music is phenomenal, and it's, and it's not just the a rehash of, like, old 80s pop songs that are funny because they're ironic. It's They're actually interesting new songs from older bands that you might not have heard of. So it's a departure in, in that way, too. You know, it's not it's not just... Uh, even the, even the, uh, the music side of it was kind of uh, curated with, with great intention by Edgar. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to move Week 6 games to Saturday for that wedding you have to go to.